now it's working yay all right guys i am live thank you very much for joining me should you join me um i was having an issue with um obs not obs said i was streaming youtube says i wasn't so i had to reset my key weird thomas potts what are you like linked into youtube via like your brain or something i'm glad you're here but dude you're you're like always here so hi thomas potts nice to see you um hopefully this is streaming out fine um youtube now says it's streaming um stream health is good internet can totally see you now i'm getting some comments so that's good thomas potts has no life that's also good to know i had an issue with obs i use equals i use obs yes you look fine thank you very much thomas much appreciated um so yeah today i'm going to be doing a uh, live unboxing of the last star trek mission crate uh this one is the voyager star trek mission crate now <coughs> there were supposed to be quite a few of these uh people have ordered them people have got the first one and or the first one took forever to get there second one took even longer this one is now here and it's odd because we had issues with loot, uh, loot crate as well we got contacted by somebody from loot crate to um promote these mission crates and uh, we were like yeah sure absolutely let's do it and she said she put it through we never got the crates we requested we never got anything and kind of let it go so whatever then somebody else uh a guy by the name of eddie uh contacted me from them like literally two months ago and said we'd like you guys to promote them we're like sure but we already had we've already spoken to somebody there and we're promised our crates and blah 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 never got anything so we didn't know what the hell was going on and long story short i don't think loot crate knows what the fuck it's doing um even though we do have their information down below if you guys want to save 10 percent on loot crates not just star trek mission crates but loot crates you can do so by using the code trek yards but so apparently now they've no, they've announced that this is the last i know that the word freighter is misspelled on that shirt i know that thank you very much for reminding my ocd of that other than that it's a fantastic shirt <laughs> um so now this is the they've announced this is the last star trek mission crate they're going to be doing um they just i don't know what's wrong if it's their, if it's their suppliers if it's i know how to spell mission crates thank you furious fonz <laughs> um i do know how to spell freighter anyway um so yeah this is the last one um i've already unboxed the other two on a live as well um the f first two you know they're pretty good they are they worth the money? Eh. The QMX figures and stuff are very well done and are themselves worth quite a bit. Um, I don't think they're really worth the money, however. Uh, and I know that since they kind of sponsored us and sent us these, that I should be saying better things about them. But the fact that this is the last Star Trek mission crate, a lot of people have paid for the mission crates, um, like a full subscription or whatever, and only got three, and it's only taken them forever to do it. Um, Anyway, uh, there's only 15 people here, but that's okay. Uh, if you guys want to super chat, please feel free to do so or click the links down below. You can help us out via PayPal. There's information there. That way YouTube doesn't take 30% off the top. Um, also, Patreon is the monthly subscription service, blah, blah, blah. You know the routine. Don't forget to like this video. Um, share it if you want so we get more viewers. Uh, this was an unannounced live, so uh, I just got the crate and thought, why not? Let's just fire it up and let's do it. I'll um, show you guys what's in here. So here we go the voyager star trek mission crate the last star trek mission crate by the sounds of it which is sad because when these were first announced i was so excited um but whatever so let's get into it um inside of the box has a nice uh ufp symbol for i dipped into the future as far as human eye could see saw the vision of the world and all the wonder that it could be I had a nice, uh, had a nice little seal there. The boxes are nice. Uh, the first box was the uh, Galileo shuttlecraft. Um, well, thank you, Furious. Glad you're here. 
Um, and again, yeah, sorry about this misspelling. I got this shirt at, um, I got it at Old Navy. And I didn't notice the misspelling right away. Then I noticed it, and it's bugged me ever since, so I don't wear it very often. Since I was home all day today, not really doing much, I thought, why not wear it? And then I thought, I'll just do a live, and I was wearing the shirt, and you know how it is. So, so we opened it up, and... Uh, one of the first things we see is a t-shirt. So let's pull this out and take a look. There you go. It's a The Adventures of Captain Proton shirt. So that's actually very cool. Um, nice shirt there. The Captain Proton's ship. Very neat. <coughs> throw that over there for now next up we got this which looks like a bath towel let me pull it out and take a look and see what it is good to know that they put the seal on all of them all of the third boxes but you're saying the other ones didn't have seals does Eagle Moss have a Captain Proton ship model? Yes, indeed they do, actually. Wow, this is huge. All right. Um, so, we got NCC 74656 USS Voyager, and it's a huge towel with 709 on it. I am often amused by human behavior. And that's the towel. So, nice towel. Um, only graphics on one side. Kind of cheap. Looks more like a... You know, like a dishcloth rather than a towel towel. But... It is quite nice. Uh, fairly big. Also in here we have a... Star Trek Voyager Magnetic Clasp Com Badge. Um, the one Mission Crate had a Discovery Badge, the other one had a Klingon Magnetic um, Clasp. So that's kind of cool. That's actually pretty good. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's a throw blanket. It's not. It's not. It's too small. Let me just pull this out here. I'll just yeah, keep going here. We got a Starfleet Command USS Voyager sticker. Again, pretty cool. This is the same sticker they used to seal the boxes. So I was kind of... I saw it and I'm like, oh, it's a cool sticker. I don't want to cut it, but... For a moment, I thought the towel was at seven of nine. Daka Makamura. <laughs> Thomas Potts was in four ninety nine. Did you see the Trek gaming chairs that ping pong and ping pong table? I sent the link to you. Yes, I did see those. The chair is actually very cool. Uh, the table also is very cool. But so also in here we have a seven of nine QMX um, figure. Uh, now we've got a Locutus one before as and as well as the wharf one um, which I'll show you guys in a second I'll unbox this in just a second but uh, there's seven and nine there there's detail of the sculpt and of course there are some codes for Star Trek online age of discovery owners of this flyer can redeem the key below to claim the appearance pack in Star Trek online PC only the stylish bundle contains an off-duty costume pack, intelligence uniforms, Talaxian clothing, an exclusive loot crate, emoji, and more. I'll just cover my code and show you the, the picture on there of your off-duty uniforms. Why won't it focus? Focus. There you go. 
so code now we've also got the the pad that shows you everything that's included here so this is the mission is mission crate zero three dark frontier on the crew of the USS Voyager try to steal a transport coil from a damaged Borg sphere, Seven of Nine is given a horrible choice by the Borg Queen. She must return to the Collective or let Voyager be assimilated. So we got Adventures of Captain Proton shirt. As they traveled through the Delta Quadrant in the weeks leading into the heist of the Borg technology, the crew of the USS Voyager got a healthy dose of fun and stress relief from the Adventures of Captain Proton, a hollow novel created by Ensign Tom Paris. <clears throat> Uh, Peter says he got the first snow of the season there, so good for you. We don't like snow. We don't have any snow here, so please don't send it our way. Um, Kirk Kirk T says the paper you get with the crate says it's a beach towel. Yeah, I'm just I'm getting into that just now. So Voyager badge, this one-to-one -one metallics plated replica of the Voyager com badge comes with a magnetic fastener, making it ideal for cosplay or everyday wear if you're a total nerd. Seven of Nine beach towel. Fun will now commence. Seven of Nine is often amused by human behavior, but sh even she would understand that keeping the value of keeping the sand at the beach or staying dry. Assimilate this towel in your beach day gear. Talking of Shirts, truck yards, thanks for the great t shirt. I'm glad you enjoy it, Peter. Um, there's a lot more pinup shirts now. If you guys want to go get some, just check the Teespring store down in the description below. Uh, the USS Voyager, Voyager decal. This decal is the perfect addition to any cars, walls, or notebooks that you suspect might be making an unplanned seven year journey through the Delta Quadrant. Really? And then Seven of Nine Master Series figure. She was Annika Hansen. She became Seven of Nine, Nine Tertiary Adjunct to Unimatrix Zero One. But you may call her Seven of Nine. Add the Borg drone. Add the Borg drone. Turn Voyager crew uh, to your display shelf today. So let's take a look at the at the figure. Good afternoon, Captain. How are you on this on this early in the day? Just asking. I am good, but it's not really early in the day here. It is 2.22 in the afternoon. So here is the 7 of 9 figure. The likeness isn't super great. It's not as good as Worf and Picard was. There you go. Um, she's got a nice little tush on her, though, I've got to say. She's tushary adjunct of my bedroom. So there's, she's got a nice little tush right there. Beautiful legs, like well sculpted. Her bosoms is not the best, they're not the hugest, plus she's hiding them behind her hand. But the face kind of puts me off a little bit. It's not super great I mean it's it's all right but but the bum the bum is where it's at it's a nice bum just do the and be really dirty <laughs> anyway um, so yeah it's a seven and nine figure which the figures themselves are usually worth it. Well, not worth the whole cost of the crate, obviously, but. A lot of the value of the crate is in these figures. So. So, yeah, so we got her last time. Planet Express throws in 20 Australian dollars. Thank you very much, Planet Express. Much appreciated. Um. Hey, same time zone. Cool. Yeah, I'm Eastern Standard Time, Southwestern Ontario, so. Seven of Nine's uniform is ribbed for your pleasure. Ooh, baby, baby. So, yeah, the, this is the one we got today with the Voyager one. This is the other one that we got from the Klingon one, number two. The Wharf one is really well done. That sculpt is fantastic. 
that looks so much like him. Seven of nine just looks, she looks shocked for some reason. Oh no, Mr. Orc. Please don't hit me with your badlass. Ah, uh, you are a Borg. Pshh. Uh. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. I need help. I need another Borg. Help me, help me. I need another Borg. And good thing you asked because here is the one that came with the first mission crate. And that is Locutus. And again, that's a fantastic sculpt of Patrick Stewart as Locutus. So we got two boards. And then Mr. Worf, who's killing the boards. Oh no! You see me? What did you see? That's right, you didn't see me playing with my action figures. But no, so. This figure is not really stunning, in my opinion. Um, when I heard it was a 7 of 9 figure, I was like, oh, yeah. And she's... She just doesn't have the facial detail. She looks kind of... She looks a little too butch, in my opinion. But uh, the body sculpt is fantastic. Somebody took a nice long time sculpting that. Um, and thank you for that. Um, nice legs. So, that's that. And Locutus is back here. He sits right there, and then I got the, the thing behind him. <clears throat> so, that's mission crate number three. Supposedly the last mission crate they're going to be doing. It's kind of a shame. So just to recap, we got the seven of nine figure. We got the Voyager sticker, which again is very cool. We got the Voyager com badge, the one-to-one -one scale com badge. We got the seven of nine beach towel. the Voyager on there and then I am often amused by human behavior so we got a beach towel and then lastly we got the, the adventures of Captain Proton oh my god and the calves yeah the calves are fantastic on the thing but here's the Adventures of Captain Proton's shirt with Captain Proton's ship there. Do, 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 do. So, huzzah. So that's Mission Crate number three, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, it was definitely worth the money for me because they sponsored it. They sent us the crates for free. Uh, so I've got all three of them at no charge. Um because we promoted them, and you can still get loot crate and stuff from us. Um, in the description below, there's a you can save 10% when you uh, order through loot crate. But I don't think the Star Trek mission crates are going to be happening anymore. So, who is Captain Proton? Captain Proton is a hollow novel based on an old black and white TV series that Tom Paris is a fan of. That's who Captain Proton is. Nice stuff. I love Star Trek Voyager. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, um, I guess that's it for now. I just wanted to come on and do a quick live uh, unboxing of this thing, show you guys what was involved in this one. It's um, it's pretty good. I wish they would have kept them up. I wish they would have been more on a regular basis. They were like, what? 
supposed to be scheduled one every three months or something, and then it just took forever for any of them to come in. So, and it's a shame because when I heard that they were doing a Star Trek mission crate, I was super super excited. I thought that's going to be really cool. I got to get in on that. I ordered them um, way back when. Uh, ordered the first one and never received it. Never got my money back either. Now that I think about it, but considering I got the other other ones for free, it's it's it's, it's fine. But I know a lot of people have been upset about the money situation. They sent the money and they just haven't really paid off in any way. That being said, the figures are kind of cool. They're quite nice. And yeah, I don't know. So take it easy, Stuart. Okay. I plead the Schultz. I saw nothing. <laughs> Why will they not happen anymore? I don't know. They just recently made an announcement, like I think last week or the week before, that this third one is going to be the last one. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know the issues behind that. Our representative hasn't told us. Like I said, he sent me this one. I got a tracking information for it on my email. And then literally like a week later, I saw that an article saying that the third one is going to be their last mission crate. So I haven't talked to our representative at all uh, to find out what's going on. Maybe I should. We can do a video on it. But I just honestly have no idea. And it's just, like I said, it's a shame because the Star Trek mission crates were like a niche crate and they're really cool. And the first one, you got a little ship. You got uh, Picard. Um, and their QMX stuff. Like, here's the ship you got with the first one. The little Enterprise D. The QMX one with the magnetic base nice detailed little ship which these sell for about $25 um, on their own there's the stand let's dust this thing off I hate dust I hate dust it's flaky and gray and it, it gets everywhere and you gotta dust it and it's a pain in the ass there you go. US Enterprise and then magnetic clasp, magnetic base. It's really nice. So that came with the first one. I expected more ships. More ships would have always been cool because I love ships. We are the ship guys here, so. I think the reason this was supposed to come in May or June. Thank you very much for answer. I hope I answered your question. Hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, hold on, there's something up here. According to my account, next build date is February 15th, 2019. Oh man, that's bad business. Yeah, it, it wasn't done well, unfortunately. Uh, when they owe me two out of two of the three of my of my money back because I paid for six crates, but only received two. Yeah, that was the initial thing. You could order all six crates for like $300 or something because they're like $66 a crate or something like that. Um, or you could go on a... Uh, I ordered the first one to see what it was like way back when and never received it. Um, so... I like this ship too, but then my one-and-a-half-year-old took it and then, well, USS Enterprise, dramatic crash, and the cells broke. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot, actually. Um, kids, you know? Kids. So I don't know where I'm going to put my little um, 7 of 9 figure. But she'll be going somewhere. She is hideous, though. Like, look at that. That does not look like Jerry Ryan at all. The head is too big for the body. The face is too... Everything else. You take off that head... The body is fantastic. The the hand detailing is nice. Focus. Um, the hand detailing is nice. If it'll focus. But anything else is great. Just that head and that face. Not a good sculpt. Put it in the bedroom likely will it'll probably be facing this way towards me i think because it'll probably go in here somewhere actually I, I just don't know yet we'll see right now she can sit right there um, 
I see them on eBay, the stuff you got. Yeah. Hey, Captain, hope you are well. I am good. Um, I don't mind hanging out and chatting with you guys. If you have any questions or whatever, you want to hang out for a little bit, we can do that. Um, it's only 2.30 here. I do have to um, take Cassie to work in like an hour, but I can spend some time with you guys if you'd like. Um, let me know if you guys want me to stick around. Um, if you've seen what you came for and now you're want to take off, let me know. Thomas Potts says, please watch Anti Trekker's video. He and Mrs. Anti Trekker need help in prayers. I know I saw a post on Facebook and definitely um, upset me this morning when I saw it. And I hope all is well. Um, I haven't watched the video, um, but yes, yeah, uh, Thomas, when you talk to Anti Trekker next, if I'm not on the next live stream, um, send him my best. Actually, I'm going to message him right now. Um, there, I just shot him a quick message, so. Zippy is down for a hangout. Um, can I ask a question about Star Trek Discovery? Of course you can ask. You can always ask questions every, every, anytime you want. Uh, if, if we're hanging out live, just ask away. Um, Peter Quinn, I have a science and astronomy stream to moderate in 20 minutes. I'm not, I won't keep you from doing your moderation duties, Peter, but thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Um, yeah. I can give you guys a sneak peek of what I'm going to be showing off in my captain's log tomorrow, if you guys want. Good friend of mine, Greg McFarlane, went to Disneyland, um, Disneyland, Disney World, whichever one's in Florida, they're all the same to me. I'm just talking to Nancy Checker now. Are you okay, Captain? I mean, you really okay? Why are you asking me that? Man, the quality on this cam is amazing. Yes, it is. This is the one I use for all truck yards. This is a 4K uh, webcam. And because it gets shrunk down and all that, because it's done over Skype, the quality is always shit when it gets on a final video. But when it's just you and me live, it, it does. It looks fantastic. My mom and I went to Disney California Adventure inside the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim last month. Love it. Yeah, well, my friend Greg went and he got me some astromech droids. Because he knows I love astromech droids. So he got me a few of them. I'm going to be showing these off in the captain's log and a few other goodies as well. Um, I got some old Playmates Star Trek action figures. Um, but these ones are cool. And I just found out last night that you can pop the heads off these bad boys because it's Droid Factory. And there's like little parts inside and you can swap heads on them uh, to make different droids so that's pretty cool and these ones are all from solo a star wars story so you got me those you also got me these i love this one on the end it's got a gun on his head right there uh r5 p8 And a cool painted face. So, there's a sneak peek for the uh, captain's log tomorrow. I've got a bunch more astromech droids that he got me as well. And I also got um, some used Playmates figures. Um, thanks to your videos, I've you've helped me settle on getting the Eagle Moss XL Reliant model. It'll be my first XL model. Good. Uh, that model is almost perfect absolutely almost perfect except for the registry on the top where it says uss reliant they didn't do the the lettering properly so it blends into the hull so you can't really see it says that unless you're up close but other than that that model is perfect way better than the refit enterprise um the camera is crystal clear yes thank you 
would have called in as it is my birthday, but bills, bills. Yes, Auntie Trekker, hope all is well too. Yes, pass. Thoughts and prayers and love all go to Auntie Trekker. And I'm talking to him right now. Um, and then Roberto says, I mean, you look like you are sad about something. No, I'm just exhausted. This has been a really busy week for me. I've been up way earlier than I usually am almost every day this week. Today I got to sleep in a bit and feel pretty good. Just kind of, I got a plugged ear because I got water in my ear when I showered um, yesterday and then sleeping on it, the wax like clog, 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 clogged my ear so I can't hear out of this ear right now. So I got some, you know, drops to loosen up the wax. Um, so hopefully that'll clear up, but I'm just, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm just worn out. And I know that there's a lot to come tonight. There's the Orville, there's discovery. I'll have to do a quick, um, probably a live, um, review after discovery tonight. And then tomorrow Samuel and I are filming, um, a few things about discovery, a review and stuff. And then we're going live tomorrow night to talk about it. Um, so there's just, there's a lot coming up and it's just a lot. But I'm not sad about anything, so thank you for asking, though. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine that way, so thank you. Are those the droids you were looking for? <laughs> um, more or less. I did ask for one that he couldn't find because it was an older um, special edition one. It was a Halloween one, uh, R8 Boo, no, R2 Boo 18 or something. It, glue, it, it was a glow-in-the-dark one. He got me another Halloween special edition one, though. It looks like a candy corn. It's got the... A little candy corn with it and the claw and this is r4 boo 18 but uh, he didn't get me the glow-in-the-dark one because he couldn't find it so if anybody knows of a glow-in-the-dark r2d2 figure um, like I said it's gonna be I mentioned it in my captain's log which comes out tomorrow at noon um, or not noon not noon nine o'clock the Eagle Moss review comes out at noon um, so if, if you watch the captain's log and you can, if you know of anybody that has the R2, I would love to buy it off somebody. That'd be awesome. Uh, awesome droid. Used to hate it when the heads popped off any figures as they were difficult to connect again. Not in these cases. These are meant for it. Uh, my question is what? is your prediction about biggest disappointment in season two? My biggest disappointment in season two will probably be the enterprise bridge. When we see it, um, I'm just afraid it's going to, no matter what they do, I think they're going to screw it up. And yeah. Um, also that graphic that shows the enterprise with all the stats from the technical manual and the straight struts. If it's a mistake, if it's a production error, like a lot of people say it is, which I don't think it is personally, uh, that'll be disappointing. If the Enterprise is scheduled for a refit or is damaged somehow because it is getting towed in the one scene uh, and, you know, they go do their mission, whatever, come back with Spock. And at the end of the season, go back to the Enterprise to drop, drop off Pike and Spock and the, the, the Enterprise is in dry dock around Earth, completely refitted uh, with straight struts still kind of look discovery-esque that will make me happy but i don't think they're going to do that so hello james king how is he feeling i'll send my best uh he's just he's down um they're doing the best they can he says he needs money but who doesn't right now <laughs> i'm kind of strapped for cash this month myself because of christmas so um just to clarify, I really like season one, despite a few flaws. I think it's the best season one in Star Trek universe. Uh, I'd agree. It's better than a lot of the other series, um, except for Enterprise. I think Enterprise was done really well. So, yeah, I, I will agree with you, though. I have olive oil for my ears, too. Well, I've got yeah, this, these drops that break down the, the wax. It's actually starting to work. I can hear it, like, crumbling and, like... It, yeah. 
Laughable Larry puts in five dollars. Thank you very much, Laughable Larry. <laughs> Love the name. Uh, thanks for being an amazing content creator. Well, thank you for being an amazing viewer of that content because without you guys, there would be no us. Um, I mean, I would still probably make videos just for the hell of it like I did four or five years ago when I started my YouTube channel just because I loved doing it. Um, but yeah, I don't think Trek Yards would have kept going as long as it has without you guys. So thank you very much. Okay, just make sure you get your rest. Praying for you, my friend. Thank you very much, Roberto. I will get my rest. Don't worry. And... Uh, Thank you for asking. Thank you for caring. I really appreciate that. Okay, going to grab some supper. I'll see you around. Stuart, take care, man. All right, see you later, Peter. Like I said, I'm doing a live later tonight sometime in the evening. I'm talking about Discovery, my first reaction. And then um, we're doing a live tomorrow evening, Samuel and myself, at 5 Eastern Standard Time, which is 10 in the UK, um, talking about the episode. And so tune in for those. I'm more excited for the Orville tonight than Discovery. Um, I honestly don't care much anymore. I am ex equally excited for both. I do I do enjoy each time a new S Discovery episode comes on. Um, I get excited to see it. I hope it's going to be good. Um, so I'd sooner not see the Enterprise Bridge too. I think they will mess it up. Oh, I'm sure they will. Greetings from the Med Bay, says Doc Jabroni. Well, greetings from Trek Yard Central Command. TOS season one, hello. Well, yeah. Sorry. But considering they aired things out of order and they aired the Salt Monster one first before Where No Man Has Gone Before. Should have been Where No Man Has Gone Before, the Corbinite maneuver. And then I forget the order after that, but that's what it should have been. But yeah, okay, I'll agree with you. TOS. TOS, then Enterprise, then Discovery. There you go. Hi, I'm new to this channel. Watch your videos, though. Great content. Thank you very much, Rob. Much appreciated. Thank you for joining. Um, I'll watch Discovery on the CBS app at 5.30 p.m. Uh, this evening, three and a half hours before I watch the new episode of The Fox's Orville. There you go. Uh, slash dot dash one two one would send a super chat, but you know the rules. Well, you know, considering it's just me today and, you know, I could give you a little a little taste through the Oh, there you go, slash dot dash. If you want to see more, you can super chat. <clears throat> Plus Anti Tracker needs the money more right now. Um he's got a little bit of a family crisis going on, so by all means just super chat over there. Zachary Gibbons, for the most part, I'm excited for Star Trek Discovery. Anything anytime new Star Trek is on, I am ready and excited. Totally agree with you. Um, sure, it's not perfect. Sure, it's probably not ever going to be perfect or exactly what we want, but it is new Trek, and I do enjoy um, watching it for the most part. I get very frustrated with it, but you should print out a picture of Anti Trekker and hide it on your wall behind you as an Easter egg. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. And a special pink bunny as well. Uh, slash dot dash one two one <laughs> smiley face uh, the only problem with that with Star Trek is that Miles O'Brien is the only enlisted man in Starfleet it's like there are no others there are a lot of others when you see the crew manifest they always say officers number of crew number of officers number, number of enlisted whatever slash dot dash puts in a, almost a pound but no comment so I don't know what you want for that that almost a pound that was for the peak I think you can whore you. I'll send Anti Trekker the rest of them. You cam whore you. <laughs> uh, Laughable Larry puts in a dollar. Thank you very much. Uh, I hate to bring up the subject, but as I have never heard your opinion, what do you think of the lawsuit against Star Trek Discovery? Um, well, the tardigrade uh, situation. Thanks. Thank you, Laughable Larry, for that one as well. Very much appreciated. Um, the creator of that tardigrade show or the tardigrade um, game contacted us at trek yards and said thank you for you know mentioning it because we mentioned it in one of our live streams um the similarities are uncanny but i'm kind of of the opinion that it's a frivolous stupid lawsuit um 
and it, I, I understand that people are kind of like, well, it serves CBS right for do for what they did to Axanar and whatever. But at the same time, it's like there are unique differences. It's it's hard to say. I, I can't really comment on it too much because. I don't know what to think and I just want to see how it plays out. But yeah, I think it's kind of ridiculous to be perfectly honest. <laughs> and T uh, Taz G 2000, the lawsuit is nonsense. Yeah. Kind of, well, I got to get fat rat, be good all and good to each other. All right. Well, thank you, Nicole for joining and uh, you got to get fat rat. I don't understand, but okay. You got to go eat. I assume. Zachary Gibbon says, you also need a picture of Lore Reloaded if you are putting up a picture of Anti-Tracker. As soon as somebody, uh, as soon as you said, I need a picture of Anti-Tracker back there, I thought, and Lore Reloaded as I was turning. But that'll turn off viewers. Subconsciously, they'll see it and they'll be like, click, go into the next video. So, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for speaking on it. Uh, no problem, John. Uh, anytime. That's what these are for. I love doing these lives to just chat and catch up with you guys and let you know my thoughts on things and the court is currently in discovery meaning they are they try to find out if cbs had access the site or had knowledge of the work well it was out like a year prior to the announcement of discovery um so yeah i don't know it's hard to say um speaking of last night um this is kind of off topic but whatever last <laughs> Last night, Rob Burnett went live and he had ripped with Rob, his first ever one, where he was basically drinking. He was kind of sloshed, answering the questions and stuff. He did about a two-hour live stream. Uh, gave Trek Yards a huge shout-out when he saw we were there, um, which was greatly appreciated. I'm a huge admirer of Rob Burnett. Have been way before Trek Yards. I loved Free Enterprise. Then we did Trek Yards. Mm -hmm. Got to meet him. I got to interview him. I did two interviews with him on the channel. Um, just type in, if you want to search it, you type in Trek Yards, Rob Burnett interview. Um, I got to talk to him about Free Enterprise. He's a great guy. And for him to actually give us a shout out and the compliments he did last night, which he's done when he hasn't been drinking as well, by the way. Um, I, I really appreciate that and uh, means a lot coming from a guy like Rob. I really have a lot of respect for Rob. And that whole situation with the Axanar thing, again, is like, why are they doing this? Why is there this... Why is Rob getting sued? It's just stupidity. It's just, why can't everybody just get along? I just don't understand. But anyway, I just wanted to, to mention that. So if you, if you haven't subscribed to The Burnett Work on YouTube, go look up The Burnett Work and uh, subscribe to Rob. He's a fantastic guy. Great uh, pulp culture uh, resource, uh, full of knowledge and very intelligent, very well spoken, very, very enjoyable to watch. And I would suggest going and subscribing to him. So the lawsuit makes no sense. If the lawsuit found some grounds, what about the Oroville? It shouldn't even exist. <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah. You ever thought about doing movie reviews? I'd like to watch your opinion on current releases. I have done movie reviews. That's the reason Trek Yards exists, because I did a review of Star Trek II uh, on my uh, ch channel before it became Trek Yards. And Samuel was watching that while doing it, uh, some editing for something else and learned a few things and contacted me. And then we started talking back and forth and eventually both found out we had a love for starships and let's make a show that people would like people like us would want to watch. And we created Trek Yards. And so, yes, I have done movie reviews. Um, we've even done some together, Samuel and me, uh, for like the uh, was it The Last Jedi or The Force Awakens? I can't remember one of our podcasts. We've. We also talked about The Martian when it first came out, uh, stuff like that. We have done movie reviews. Uh, if you want movie reviews that are current, um, I could probably start doing those, but I'll do them over on my Captain Foley personal channel. Um, the link for that is in the description below. Uh, head on over there and subscribe. Uh, I'm also re-uploading all my old content from the Trek Yards channel from like four or five years ago before Trek Yards existed to the new channel. Um, the new personal channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my personal channel and you want me to, because over there I'm going to be talking about my other interests like Transformers, Sherlock Holmes, Swords. Um, I got so many interests, it's not even funny. Um, I'll be talking about that stuff over there and not cluttering up the Star Trek Trek Yards uh, feeds with that. So, so yes, Laughable Larry, 
go subscribe to the Captain Foley personal channel and just type in Captain, uh, just in the search bar for YouTube, Captain Foley movie review. It'll, it'll come up with a list of the movies I have reviewed so far. And uh, y y hopefully you'll enjoy them and let me know. Let me know if you like them. Uh, Christian, hey, Captain. Hello, Christian. Uh, laughable Larry, Captain Foley started out doing movie, Star Trek. Well, I started out, that's not true. I started out doing uh, model build videos and uh, just then showing off my collection, you know, Star Trek collectible stuff. Then I kind of went to movie reviews. So there you go. Fat Rat is a swear from Land of the Lost. Okay. Thank you very much, Nicole. I did not know that. Uh, Orville can be considered a parody. Copyright laws don't apply. That's very true. That is very true. Yes. Then what about any show with a ship traveling through space telling the stories of its crew? Right. Any plans for Eric Henry to be coming on Trek Yards anytime again soon? Funny you should ask that, John Mystery. Eric uh, did a live Facebook video last night, which I tuned into. Um, and sa I, I said in one of the comments, you know, we need to have you back on the show. And he said, I would absolutely love to come back on. Let's set something up. We can get into more detail about some of the ships. So, yes, Eric Henry will be back. And so will some of our other guest stars. Uh, there's We just filmed some with Doug Drexler. Uh, we have we have Rick Sternbach scheduled to film with him early February. Um, John Eves, we've got one in, in reserve right now that uh, we just got the latest information for from him that we can now complete the edit. So there's lots of great uh, content coming out still with the special guests. Eric Henry will, of course, be joining us. He is a fantastic guy. Uh, Pacific 201, he said, is probably going to be here early spring. Um, so I'm excited for that. You guys should be excited for that. If you don't know what Pacific 201 is or Eric Henry, I would suggest looking them up on YouTube. They're worth a look. And uh, Eric Henry's channel is also fantastic, so I would suggest subscribing to him. So here I'm just telling you to subscribe to everybody else that I have respect for. But that's fine. But yes, John, the answer is yes. What is your favorite Star Trek collectible that is worth buying these days? Uh, collectible, collectible. I've got so many collectibles. My favorite, that's hard to say. Uh, some of the Franklin Mint stuff um, from way back when. If you can get a, ha a hand, your hands on them in good shape, they're definitely worth scooping up. Uh, the Mega Bloks Enterprise is like a 350 scale Enterprise that I'm going to be building soon. I'm going to have it on the model table over here and uh, get it done. That's another one. Uh, the, the, the chess sets from Franklin Mint. I don't know. Uh, favorite collectibles. Just too many. I, I can't really think of what I would suggest there. So. Would you rather guest star on Orville or Discovery? Probably Orville, to be honest. Um, I would love to meet Seth MacFarlane. Um, and just to be... Yeah, I think the Orville would be the answer. I, of course, would want to be on a, I would want to be in the background of a Star Trek episode or something, but maybe not Discovery, per se. Unless I could meet Tilly. If I can be in a scene with Tilly, I'm down. 100% down. Uh, Doug was my favorite guest of yours. Uh, did you get your 1350 refit Enterprise done yet, Captain? No, I have not. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Everybody's been pushing me to finish that. I will get to it. Don't worry. Um, and the, the model build videos that I've done on that so far are, are being transferred over to the Captain Fully Personal channel now. So if you are subscribed there, you'll see new updates. But they're like from four years ago when I started the build. So if you're interested, go watch those. Why not guest star on both? Exactly. Be, be the thread that ties those universes together. Besides Seth MacFarlane, who's been in Enterprise. He was in two episodes of Enterprise as an uh, one of the uh, engineering staff. Um, but anyway. Oh, Eric. Not seen him for a bit. I hope he had a nice vacation. Uh, yeah, he seems well rested. Well, actually, he seemed kind of tired last night on his live. But um, he was answering questions and having a good time, so can be a ship with lights or something like that I would say the 350 scale TOS Enterprise from Polar Lights but you got to build that so it's not really a collectible I, I've I would I've wanted to ha get the QMX um, or is it master replica the master replicas 
enterprise that they produce i would love that so much it's it's fully light lit up it's 350 scale painted um yeah that that would be one i'd want i don't have it but i would want one it depends on which one freaks is directing at the time yeah i spy with my little eyes something beginning with s two of them in fact Stuart and Stuart right there. Neat, 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 neat. Shithead and shithead. I would rather uh, I would rather go start on the Orville and have a chance to say thank you to Brandon Brega. Yeah. Time lapse one day. What? Uh, Culpo agrees with Teg, uh, so right about uh, Jonathan Frakes. Zachary Gibbons, I want Captain Foley to be a producer on Discovery. He could fix everything in a heartbeat. I think more than a heartbeat, but yeah, we could get it done in a season for sure. Samuel and myself could. Samuel could do the scripting and the, the yeah, story ideas and the rewrites, and I could be the canonista. We could get it done. We could get it done. Do you think the spore drive will be explained away for this new season? Probably yes. Um, at least by the end of the season, it should be. I think, it, I think it ties in with the red angels or the red spheres that are showing up. I think it might be a corrupted mycelial network, so they have to seal the access to the mycelial ne network or something like that, I think is going to be the case. So when I click on Captain Foley's channel, it says it does not exist. In the description... Uh, it could just be that I got the wrong link in there, but. Main site. Other YouTube channel, Captain Full. Yep, that's why. Um. Just type in Captain Foley uh, channel in the search thing of YouTube. I gotta, I gotta fix that. Obviously, it's just, it's just the description for the. Okay, yeah, that's that's my bad. Actually, I can probably fix that now. Hold on, just a second. Channel upload defaults. There, it's been updated now. Link is broken. It's not some of the characters copied. The full name is... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Have... Okay. Uh, yeah, it does exist. Uh, it just the link wasn't complete in the description. Sorry. Have you recommended Cockings designed your own ships or done so collectively? We've done so independently. I have the USS Foley Dreadnought, and he has the... USS Horizon uh, ship that he just designed. So, yes, we've both done one. No, it's not Slave Lay either. It was two side swipes on his shelf. Ah, two side swipes. Two. Two side swipes. Ah, ah, ah. I have the 1350 scale Master Replicas Enterprise. It's a nice replica, though. I'd still love to do the Polar Lights kit. But Oh, you have it, Adam. Oh, my God. I love you so much. I want to see it. I want it. I want pictures. I want to see it. I want one. Send it to me. The Nexus is the aftermath of the mycelial network. That'd be neat. Um, there's the link for the Captain Foley channel there, or the name, the channel name. Thank you. Catchy name, by the way. I know, right? It's the one that YouTube assigned me. Are you excited for the new Section 31 series? I'm not. I am not. I'm not I'm not a fan of Michelle Yeoh at all. I hate the character Giorgio with a passion. Um, no, not excited about it in the least. 
Well, I need to go visit my girlfriend at work. Talk to you later. If when you get a chance to visit the commander in the UK and I will go there then just to uh, thank you in person for everything you do. Yes, I will be going to see the commander at some point. I don't know if it will be this year because we got a few trips planned over this way that he'll be coming over here for. But uh, I will be visiting him at some point. That is definitely on the in the calendar, in the cards. It's something that will happen. Larry, just let's see and see what I'll, it'll be about. It's too early to be excited or not. I will agree with that as well. Open link in the new tab. Just gonna correct this. Uh, uh, I can't. Shit. Just trying to collect, correct that link problem, but I don't think I can do it while I'm live. to do it later. Uh, Larry. Okay, yep. Uh, if you come to the UK, can you organize some meetup or meeting? It would be awesome to see you in the UK. Absolutely, we will. We will definitely do um, a meet and greet. Every time uh, Commander Cockings comes here, we do a meet and greet down here. Uh, last time we had like 30 people show up. Uh, first time was like eight people. Um, and when we're, ever, we're in a town, like when we went to Denver and stuff, we will we'll schedule meet and greets so the people in the area can come and hang out with us. And we've met quite a few people. It's it's really fun to meet you guys. So absolutely, we will. Yes. Uh, Curtis Simp uh, puts in a link for the Master Replica Enterprise, which I should probably check out. That's actually... And yes, I too prefer the non-Mirror Captain Giorgio. I can't stand either of them. I can't stand Giorgio, the Emperor, or the Captain. I just, I hate her character. I hate the actress. I just can't stand her. I don't want to see her anymore. Uh, if anybody wants to see more of it's Lorca, not her. Uh, these villainous Mirror Universe characters are so bi-dimensional. Uh, let's see here. 5,000. Holy shit balls. Starting bid 4,799. Uh, oh, it's worth it, though. That's a beautiful model. But I built my own with lights and sound. So, or not sound, just lights. I built my own, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, there's that. What the hell is that? Uh, 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 uh. All right. It will require a few donations. Yes, yes, it will. My birthday is May twenty eighth, guys. You can like start a get Captain Foley a uh, Master Replicas Enterprise fund, and you could like surprise me with it, have it shipped to my house for my birthday. Just saying. Actually, I'd probably just rather take the cash, to be honest. So Super Chat. Please Super Chat away. Uh, super Chat whatever you can afford. Uh, it'll, go, it'll go to paying off bills and keeping my head above water. <laughs> Her line delivery is so wooden. Yeah, because she's not great at English, to be honest. Uh, if you could create a Star Trek series with fellow YouTubers as the cast, who would you pick? That's simple. Anti Tracker would be there. Lore Reloaded would be there. Um, PewDiePie would be there. <laughs> I love PewDiePie. He wouldn't want to cooperate. He doesn't like Star Trek. Uh, Matthew Santaro uh, would be there. Uh, maybe Mecha Random. I don't know. That thing is a beauty. Talking about the Enterprise model, yes. 
Captain, do you plan to visit Switzerland in the future or planning to attend any UK events? Would love to meet you and the commander in person. Um, haven't planned any trips to Switzerland. I would love to go to Switzerland, though. I would simply love it. Me and my wife have talked about going to Switzerland many times. Um, but as for conventions or events in the UK, um, yes, at some point, definitely that will be the plan. I will meet up with Samuel. We'll do the meet and greet there. And I would love to meet you guys. I would love to go over there and hang out. I would, I've always wanted to go to, the, to England. Uh, I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan, a huge Jack the Ripper um, I wouldn't say fan of a mass murder, but you know what I mean. Uh, I want to go on the Jack the Ripper walking tours. I want to go to 221B Baker Street Museum. I want to do all that stuff. Uh, so, yes. Uh, you should go on the Trek cruise next year. Many actors will be there. Would love to do that as well. I like the fact she doesn't hide her accent. Um, they need to get Pee Wee Herman to play an alien. Uh, come to Italy too, man. I can be your tour guide in Venice. Absolutely, it's it's great being in trek yards because I know I know people from all around the world. So whenever anybody's like, when you come here, you know, I'll buy you drinks. When you come here, you got a place to stay. Um, I got uh, two people mm -hmm. in uh, San Diego that I if I go to San Diego Comic Con, I don't have to pay for a hotel. They'll put me up for the the time I'm there. Um, I know a bunch of people in LA that'll put me up. Um, I don't want to inconvenience these people necessarily, and I will probably get hotel rooms. But uh, if anything ever happens emergency-wise, I know I have people I can contact. I just I can't always remember the names and the faces that are associated with each to remember who lives where or whatever. So Come to Texas. I promise I won't murder you. That's cryptic. Texas scares me a little bit. Um, and in London, UK, if you need anything. See? <laughs> uh, just awesome being uh, with Trek Yards because we've met so many fantastic people. You guys are all great. And I got to get going soon, like in about 20 minutes. I got to get going just so you guys are aware because I have to take my daughter to... Uh, to work, so I've already been on a lot longer than I expected. I just want to do a quick unboxing, but uh, uh, sorry, just uh, my son is messaging me as well, so. Come to Florida and enjoy the sunshine. Florida is also on the hit list because I want to go to the new Star Wars or yeah, the Star Wars additions to Disney. Is it Disneyland or is it Disney World? Which is which is which? Which one is in Florida? Which was in, in California? Because uh, I always get them mixed up. But yes, Florida is on the on the list for sure. I should probably change my L cars to something else. Disney World is Florida. Okay, good to know. I would love to see a round table with you, bleh, with you, Lori Loaded, and Anti Trekker all together. Well, laughable Larry, we have been invited to go to San Diego Comic Con, all of us, um, on our own dime, unfortunately. But, <laughs> and we even have been offered a panel. Uh, for Star Trek YouTubers. So if that pans out this year, there's a possibility that I might be joining Anti-Trekker and Lori Loaded on a panel at San Diego Comic-Con. We will see how that turns out. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to happen because we've got other trips planned this year. We have to go down to... Um, well, there's a secret thing we got to do at some point in the States down there. Um, we also need to go to Vegas in August for Vegas, uh, Vegas Star Trek. Um, that's on our to-do list. Uh, and maybe a trip to L.A. to see the guys from Star Trek Online, visit their offices, and hang out with Thomas Maroney and some of the other designers. 
Um, so we have a few things lined up. So I'm not sure if San Diego Comic Con can fit into that, but we will definitely try. Um, Disneyland is, is in Anaheim. Uh, wait, Disney World is Orlando, both homes to Star Star Wars Galaxy Edge and Star Tours. The adventure continues. Do you need a fund for that Comic Con trip? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, we are doing some Indiegogo campaigns this year, one to fund the Vegas trip uh, and one possibly for the other secret project we're doing. Um, San Diego Comic Con will probably just be myself. I don't think we'll get Commander Talkings over for that one. Um, and really, I mean, for the flight, like I said, I have a place to stay. One of our Trek Yards admins has a, a room, a huge house and a room that, uh, I could stay at. And one of the, one of anti trekkers regulars also has a place I can stay in San Diego should I need it. So, I mean, just for a flight and maybe hotel room for a night or two, um, I'll be down there for maybe four or five days. Possibly. Um, it would definitely be helpful. I can't afford it. I can't afford to just buy plane tickets out of the blue. Uh, that's why if these conventions are willing to pay for our flight costs and accommodations, we're down for going to conventions anytime. But a lot of times they say, can you come? We can't afford to put you guys up or anything. It's like, well, we'd love to. We'll Skype in maybe, <laughs> um, which is kind of a bummer. That's what's happened this year. Um, for the Northwest uh, Northwest Trek Con in New York. It was also the same weekend as London Comic Con here in London, Ontario, so I had that convention to do, and then I Skyped into uh, Northeast Con as well. So, But yes, a, f a fund for those trips is always awesome. If you guys know anybody that's wealthy that would be willing to help out, let me know. <laughs> oh, look, Samuel's here. Hi, Samuel. Uh, I've already done the unboxing and everything. You've missed that. Uh, uh. Now this crashed. Anywho. Wow, so excited. Jeez. Yeah, well, the commander's here now, guys. Even though I'm going to be leaving in literally like two minutes. Uh, let's recap what we got in the uh, third and they are saying the final mission crate. We got our seven of nine character or a little statuette, which the face sculpt is hideous as hell. Doesn't look at all like Jerry Ryan, but the body sculpt is fantastic to say the least the legs the calves the butt oh my god it's awesome so we got that it's okay i make fancy ham fancy eggs fancy chips eggs and baked beans for oh that sounds so good dude dude they've been talking about me coming to visit you and you know doing a meet and greet because the people in like switzerland and stuff they want to come and hang out with us we need to get me over to the UK soon. I know we got a lot of trips planned in America this year and a few other things going on, but dude, we, I got to get to the UK sometime and you need to make me some food. Hi, Commander. It looks like Laura's body. Ew. No, it doesn't. Um, it also came with the one to one magnetic Voyager badge type deal thingy. Samuel, look at the quality of this camera when it's not compressed through Skype and shrunk down. Got a Voyager sticker. Yeah, I have a big surprise meet and greet. I have a... Yeah, have a big Europe meet and greet. There you go. I don't know where I got surprise from, but yes, that would be awesome. Um, I also got the... Adventures of Captain Proton t-shirt. And then to round out the crate, to finish it off, if you will, there was, there is the large 
Seven of Nine, Voyager, Beach Towel. That's... Uh, it says, I am often amused by human behavior. That's a pretty big beach towel. It smells funky. It smells like new beach towel. <sighs> it's glorious. There you go. That's the recap of the third and, dare I say, final Star Trek Mission Crate. Um, there is a link down below. If you want a Mission Crate, you can get 10% off if they still exist. You can definitely order them through us or use our discount code TREKYARDS to get yourself 10% off. It also applies to other loot crates as well. Freighter, nobody triggered. I am. I absolutely hate this shirt for that. Just right there. It's spelled wrong. It's supposed to be E-I, but whatever. So yeah, I don't wear this shirt very often. Usually when I'm just around the house. But... I love a little beach towel. That's very random. Right? But anyway, guys, I'm going to get going because, like I said, i got to leave in 10, 15 minutes to take Cassie to work. It has been a joy talking to you guys. been on for more than an hour. I didn't expect that long. I expected like half an hour for this uh, live unboxing. Thank you to everyone that super chatted. If you want to throw in a super chat right now and ask me a final good question, that would be awesome. I would love to see another super chat or th two thrown in there to help out uh, with costs and stuff. But if not, I totally get it. It's fine. It's not it's fine. Thanks for the live stream, uh, SF. I suppose that means Stuart Foley. Uh, see you at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time this afternoon. Hopefully, live long and prosper. 2 p.m. 5 Eastern Standard. No, I won't be on tonight at 5. It'll be tomorrow night at 5 for the Discovery Live chat. Uh, tonight in the evening sometime. Um, like, I'm thinking 10, 11. Eastern Standard Time for my live review or first reaction to Discovery. And so, yeah, later this evening or tomorrow at the regular time. Samuel says, when is your live tonight for Discovery? I don't actually know when it is for the world today. Um, I just said <laughs> 10 or 11 Eastern Standard Time. I don't know yet. It depends on, it depends on what's going on. Bye, Captain. Have a great day. Bye, Curtis. See you later. Um, thanks for the awesome talk anytime guys Zarkon D. Grissom see you later tonight for the live reaction I want to travel to the other side of the galaxy with the help of a giant tardigrade okay um, oh right my mistake captain <laughs> no problem alright guys thank you very much for tuning in and uh, we'll do more of these just chats and hangouts with Captain Foley um, in the next couple whenever because I love doing these and they're impromptu, but they're fun, and I get to talk to you guys, and it's it's, it's amazing. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to be going. So, thank you very much for tuning in, and have a great day, one and all. I will see you guys later for my first reaction review video, which hopefully won't be too long, but we'll see. Yeah. By the way, Samuel, if you're still here, OBS was would stream live, but it wouldn't connect to to YouTube. I had to reset the stream name of the stream key. Um, so you're going to have to update your OBS with the new stream key for YouTube in order to be able to stream live. So just a heads up because it wasn't working. And the only way to fix it was to, to do the reset of the key. So uh, it's a known issue that happens sometimes on YouTube's end. So anyway, there you go, Samuel. I hope you're still here and I hope you heard that. Let me know via message if you, if you got that. So bye guys.